the derivative of one minus cosine x over sine x. So when we look at this, we, again, we may be tempted to use the quotient rule, but don't be fooled. We can simply split this up, we can split the numerator up. So we can actually rewrite this as d dx, one over sine x minus cosine x over sine x. So this is kind of cool because we can see here, when we, if we know our trig, that this actually all simplifies out to some really cool stuff. So d dx, so one over sine x, well that's simply cosecant x minus cosecant x over sine x. That's cotangent x. And now this is much easier to differentiate than the quotient rule of, of you know, the one minus cosine x over sine x. So the derivative of cosecant x is gonna be negative cosecant x cotangent x minus, now the derivative of cotangent x is gonna be negative cosecant squared x. So just to simplify this all out, make it nice and pretty, uh, this we have positive cosecant squared x here. Cosecant squared x minus cosecant x cotangent x. That, my friends, is the solution.